Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. Welcome back. We're on county line right now. Um, things are changing. Things are about to change in a big way. In fact, this is probably the last time we'll be on county line. Look at that. Um, fantastic area. Really do love it up here, but it's it's time we moved on. Now, we've got a lot of little loose ends we've been tying up today. Um, of course, this farm here is going to be amalgamated into our large farm, which is just down the road here. Uh, Paul's going to be taking it all. We're going to leave a bunch of our equipment back here for him. But, well, the logistics center, we got Jimmy and Johnny taking care of that for us. It's good that it's in good hands, and it's it's doing pretty well up here. The logistics center is going to make us a ton of money, and it's going to be worth a lot of cash in the future. But, uh, well, for now, we're done with it. We uh, They don't need us here anymore. We'll let this business run its course. Now... We'll see exactly uh, how we're going to do all this yet. We've got some big plans and we're heading west, north, west. We've got a long trip ahead of us today. In fact, you know what? Let's go inside. I've been loading stuff up and just starting to get ready here. I've been uh, getting a truck ready to go. Now, I'm taking a highway hauler with us. We've got the Mac Anthem. We've got our uh, our big techs as well as well, we're taking some other equipment from the farm. But we've got a lot of driving to do today, guys. Let's uh, Let's get this thing loaded up. And get the heck out of county, all right? Let's do this thing. Good or patter. Clutch simulations. All right, we've got the truck ready to go. Um, I do need to go load up one piece of equipment still. Make sure we're clearing that door. Uh, we'll get outside here and close this up. This should be close right there. Nice. Close that down. And uh, so, we're, like I said, we're taking the Mac and we're hey, taking clutch, the I'm going to get off. All right, so we've got everything loaded up here for the most part. We just got to go over to the farm and quickly grab one piece of equipment that I'm taking with us. So, Pa's got all the equipment we need. I mean, we got a ton of equipment over there on the main farm. This farm here's got just a car, uh, what is it, a combine and, what is it, this 8 series tractor, I believe, we put in there? I think that's what we bought off the top of my head here. And, and the only thing we really take with us, we got a 6 series that he does not need. I'm going to take that with us over to, uh, to, ha to Hazard over to uh to nebraska with us though so we're gonna load that bad boy up we got to sit over here in the shop but that is the only thing that i really want to take with us now i know there is a shop over on uh of course in that neck of the woods oh there's the last time i'm gonna see that train love the train here look at it go um so we'll be buying some equipment from the shop of course figuring out exactly what we're going to need there but this is going to be a basically a new it's a new farm that uh it's well it's not totally new I, I, not exactly what I mean. It's new to us, at least. Um, there's parts that are new-ish, but there's a lot of a lot of this farm has just been uh, left to uh, for us to take over, and we're gonna have to figure out exactly what we want to do with it. Now, we've got a, quite a few options out there. This uh, well, I, county line has got some larger areas. We've definitely been uh, doing some bigger fields. It has nothing on what we're gonna be expecting in Nebraska. Let's put it that way. All right, let's get this thing loaded up. Come on, get on up there. Come on. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. We'll lift this up. Get it up on the deck. And right up against our toolbox. Get these things strapped down because they've got... I bet you we've got about a 20-hour drive ahead of us here. Good enough. Awesome. That looks great. Cool, cool, cool. All right. There we go, guys. That's uh, that's all loaded up. We'll go close this door, garage door down. Now, I know Pa's going to have some other people work up here. They're going to really work this farm. I mean, we've got also the garden center that uh, they've got to figure out. But, you know what? They don't need us anymore. There's enough people up here to handle all this stuff. Man, look at this place. We're pretty good. Pretty happy with how this has all turned out. But, you know what? We've done more than our share here in the county. It's time to let somebody else take over the reins. All right, let's fire the Mac up. All right, guys. It's time to rock and roll. One last time through downtown county, and then uh, we're heading out. We'll be heading straight out northeast, or northwest, I should say, up in Nebraska. And we'll see what we have in store. I've bought the property already. Everything's good to go up there. We just need to bring some, start getting some equipment ready. So I'll show you what we got there. And then maybe tomorrow, next day, we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll be buying some equipment and figuring out exactly what we need to have up there. Our last trip through downtown. Downtown Moore? Yeah, Moore. That's right. You'd think I'd remember it by now. Uh, but anyways, this is it. This is all. We'll be heading out. Um, I'm going to miss this place. I'm not going to lie. This is a, a pretty fantastic area. I really enjoy being out here, but you know what? All good things come to an end. It's time to say goodbye, move along. So, you know what, guys? Let's put the hammer down. Nebraska, here we come. Well, Nebraska, here we are, guys. Look at the uh, 
large, open, flat lands. Um, yeah, it seems to go on for miles, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, there's just a lot of property out here. Oh, man. So we're just pulling in here. We've got our dealership up on the right. I'm going to pull in. I just want to go introduce myself and go take a look around, see what they got here, and uh, see what I can expect. Ah, oh, man. It's a nice-looking dealership, mind you. Look at the, uh, the amount of equipment they got here. We'll have to wait and see what we got going on. All right, let's pull on in. Let's make sure we don't wreck their... Uh, look at that awesome mailbox. That is fantastic. Um, I'm going to be in the toolies here. Come on. Now cut her over, cut her over, cut her over. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, let me pull around. We'll just pull around the side of the shop here. Look at this shop. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed with this. Let's uh, go around the back here. And we'll just pull off the side. I'm going to go in and chat. And uh, I think they said this is a dealership with a parts department. So this is going to be a pretty good place if we need to get some stuff. I don't know what else we got on the county out here yet, out in this area. Um, I've really got to make some inroads. And we'll see who's all out here. But uh, right now, this is the only place I'm aware of. All right, so let's go take a quick look around and see what we got here. Now, oh man, we're going to fit through this nice couple of case tractors here. Uh, looks like we got a bit of a dealership inside. Let's go around the back here. Oh, look at this. Yeah, okay. Here, this is what I thought it was. So we got a, we've got a parts counter right here. Look at all the parts. That's cool. Um, and then over here, you've got a couple of work bays. So you've got service department. We've got two bays here. Not bad. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, we might have to do some business here. This is a nice service bay. Look at that. Nice big open uh, open air. It would be all right to work on a piece of equipment in there. Even over here, this isn't bad either. Lots of tools, lots of equipment. Look, I mean, look at all the uh, the equipment we got sitting over here. Just tons of equipment. People are moving around everywhere. Stuff's going on. Um, it's mostly case equipment, though, and we're going to need to buy a lot of tractors, I think, guys. We've only got, well, we've got the, the six series. I don't have anything else. Uh, man, do we want to go with a quad track? Oh, there goes Austin again. We're going to need something big, I think. For the fields that came with the farm that we purchased, we're definitely going to need something big. Bobcats. That's cool. Uh, and what, what do we got over here? We got a couple case series... 380s? Is that what I see? 380s all the way down? Look at all the 380s, guys. Oh, man. I think it's a lot of case stuff. We're going to have to buy some case. I don't know. What do you guys think? What kind of tractor should we go with? We've got large open fields. Man, we're going to need something big. That is for sure. Anyways, I want to head into town. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder what Austin's doing. Maybe he's heading over for something as well. Let's see if I can catch up to him here and give him a shout. But, uh, yeah. Let's go grab some coffee. So we've got quite a few options, I think, as far as tractors and equipment go. Oh, man, you know what? Not a lot of John Deere stuff, though. I don't know if there's anybody else in the counter, county or out in this neighborhood that's got anything John Deere. I was kind of hoping to go more John Deere. But maybe we'll have to go with more of a New Holland case. I, I don't know, yes. We'll see. We've got our, well, we've got our six series. Oof. We've got our six series. We've got our, uh, we've got our t toolbox. I mean, it's a start. Now, there's something I didn't tell you about the farm. The farm's coming with one piece of equipment. It's not in the greatest shape. A little bit of We've got a little bit of hail damage on uh, on on the piece of equipment, so it, it, I don't know. It's not great. It is what it is. <laughs> Give me that much. Anyways, pulling into town here. Look at this. We're out in the prairies. We've got a small little town. Um, and oh, there's a coffee shop right on the right here. That's where he said that's perfect. Let's pull in. We'll uh, we'll grab a coffee here, and we'll see where we can go. Now our farm actually is straight ahead down this road, quite a ways still. But uh, I want to pull in here. And see if we can get a coffee at least. Maybe get a quick bite to eat. I'm going to pull around. So I'm facing this way here though. Oh, look at that. Austin's sitting here. I can pull up this way here and just kind of... Uh, we'll block it in on touch. Just so we can quickly grab our coffee. That's all right. Oh, so hey Austin. What the heck are you doing here? Hey buddy, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I thought you had some more loose ends to clean up in County Line before you left. Yeah, we've managed to clean up, I think, most of them. And the rest of them we're not going to worry about. Huh. <laughs> all right all right yeah um looks like you yeah. got a, a load ready to go there you, is that everything you're bringing oh, out yeah yeah that's that's all i'm bringing except uh my truck and my trailer is on the way uh buddy of mine is bringing it up oh nice excellent okay well i've only got my six series and well i got a toolbox and that's about it i haven't even made it over to the farm yet i'm just about to head there i stopped over at uh that case dealership in town that's a pretty nice case dealership they got a lot of equipment there i saw you pulling in or pulling out just as i was coming in there they got a lot yeah. of cool stuff out there Mm -hmm. So anyways, uh, I'm just grabbing a coffee. What are you doing? Uh, I'm grabbing some food and a coffee, yeah. Nice. All right. Well, I'm going to go inside and grab something if you uh, want to join me. I guess we got uh, 15 minutes, but I'm going to head out to the farm after that. Yep. All right. Yeah, let's do it. That was good.
Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I've, I've had worse coffee, so that's a good I mean, sign. This is, this is like the new waffle, waffle place or something. I think it might be. Remember? <laughs> yeah. uh, cool. I Anyways, show Grant this place. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, we'll have to get get all the boys out here. This might be a good little meeting spot. They got a lot of seating in there. They got a little patio up on the top there. I, I didn't go upstairs. We could have went up on the patio. That looks like it might be a nice spot to meet up at. Yeah, you sure uh, Grant's going to fit in one of those chairs? Uh, I don't know. We we could find out. We'll have to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> You might have uh, had too much waffles. Uh, well, I guess. Know. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, dude. I'm going to hit uh, hit the road here. I've got to get stuff set up. I mean, we're burning daylight. Yeah, I got a lot same. of work to do over the farm, but I am sure I'll see you around soon. Yeah, I don't got too much to do. I'm just kind of just dropping off there for the night and, yeah, getting stuff set up at the home. Sounds no, good. Not awesome. too much. Cool, man. Get well, the, get, uh, the, get the PC set up, you know, essentials. I, of course, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, you have a good day. I will see you probably soon, I'm sure. Have a good one. Yeah, see ya. All right. That's that's awesome. Um, that's a cool little joint. Look at this place. That was actually a, a nice little place here. Nice patio up on top. I need to go check that out. All right. Let's get the Mac fired up. Let's uh, literally get out of Dodge. Let's go. Now, like I said, our farm. Profit coming? No. Um, our farm's just down at the end over here. And in fact, I don't know if that's it might be it i think that might be us uh, you can see all the tree line down in the far left over there i think that might be us it's tough to say i can't tell anymore we have uh, only been out here once when we bought the place and i can't remember exactly how far it is from town so um the farm itself now it's got the bare bones it's got the necessities and it came with well one piece of equipment i would hardly call it a piece of equipment it came with a truck and um, so we've gotten rid of the dodge we left the dodge back on county line but the truck we've got, well, it's a newer Ford. It's an F-350 diesel. It's a dually. But she's got some hail damage. I'll show you it in a sec. But the farm itself, one of the problems that I had to, that I ran into, they, I'll, I'll give you a kind of a grand tour of everything before we get going here. But uh, the farm itself didn't have any kind of a farmhouse on it. You know what? we got to pull in here. Look at this. All right. Stop right here for now. i got to open the gate. Gate's closed. Open up. Come on. There we go. So the farm itself does not did not come with any kind of a farmhouse. We had to we had to kind of improvise, and it's something we're gonna have to take care of. I am so far way back over here. Let's pull this back so I don't crash. Um, this is gonna be a fight to get in here with this truck. Look at this. Oh, I'm hitting the electrical boxes. I don't want to do that. Let's go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on, baby. Keep her nice and wide. Keep her nice and wide. Yeah, we're just gonna rub that gate a touch. Best driver in Nebraska. Um, <laughs> uh, let's just pull this up ahead there, just down the side. So like I said, it didn't come with any kind of a farmhouse, so we had to have a, a house shipped out for us. So I had them build a house quickly, uh, just, well, well, before we were moving. And um, you know what? I'll just turn this off. I'll show you my house. Well, you can, you can see the house. It's not exactly the grandiose of digs. <laughs> So this is going to be our temporary place. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of options, guys. I mean, um, it is something, but I, I don't want to be in here for too much longer. I mean, I'm on my own for the time being while we get this place set up. I don't even have a computer in here or anything. I got, I got a microwave. I mean, that's going to make some nice Hungry Man meals. That's something, I suppose. Uh, at least I got a TV. I got something I can watch, but I'll bring the laptop out, thanks. Anyways, that's going to be our house for the time being. That's where we're going to be. Uh, we're going to be li living there, sleeping on the couch for the time being. It's all we got. That's it. It's uh, it's the bare minimal for the time being. Now, as for the farm itself, let me show you the truck. I'll show you the truck first. I think he said it was over here. There we go. Yeah. So nice new looking Ford, good farm truck, but it's, it's she's taking some hail damage, guys. A little bit of hail damage. She looks like she's in a bit rough shape. Nice dark dark blue color, but you can barely tell that it's uh. That she got some paint to it. it. Looks almost like a black with the different rough damage we got going on here. Big bull guard at the front. She's got a mount for a plow. If we need that, that's cool. So that's in the, the one shop here. Now this here area, this is kind of the new side of this farm. So this farm has been in uh, around for quite some time. There's some large fields we got. I mean the field right up there. We we own this field. That's like a whole quarter section up that way. We have another another section off to the east. And then we have one smaller field, and I think it's another quarter section. Another quarter section, just kind of down close to town. Um, not a mass. I think that one's probably the smaller of the fields. We'll see. I'm not quite sure yet exactly the, the hectare sizes between the fields, 
But uh, yeah, anyways, we'll take a look at that later on. So we've got a couple different shops here. Nothing in any of these yet. This is the biggest of by far, this one right here. Uh, I'm sure we can open this. There we go. And you can open this up. You can see we've got lots of room in here for equipment. Uh, probably even a combine we could fit in here if we need to. We'll see if we decide to put that in here or not. It's a little bit of a low roof, right? Now, the silo system. We've got our silo system right there. Massive silo system. I mean, just I wish we had a house. <laughs> so we've got that. You know what? Let me take the truck. We're going to fire the truck up and we're going to go over to the far side. So this is all, like I said, the newer side of this farm. Now, there was more of an original side, and the big thing we're going to be working on in this farm, guys, is not just grains. We're doing pigs. We've got... This was a large pig farm operation before, and uh, this, the pig styes are still over here, and that's definitely what we're going to be pushing on this farm. I don't know why they went out of business, why they couldn't push uh, this farm to work, but we get over here, and this is kind of the older side of the farm, per se. Now, they do have this one new building over here on the left, but once you get past that, uh, everything on this side here was kind of, well, the older side. Now, if we go up in here, we've got the original farm buildings uh, just in the back. So we've got just an old barn. Uh, I think it's like an old cattle barn, to be honest with you, back over here. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, it looks like an old cattle barn was in here. We're not going to be able to use this for anything. This is too old and uh, not much use to us, of course. Might use it for some storage at times, but that's about it. And then over on here, they got an old workshop. That's not bad. In fact, I think this one here has still got stuff in it. Yeah, so we could probably make use of this still. Uh, it's still not in bad shape. More for storage. They're not upstairs at all in this one. Yeah, a little bit of an up hayloft up top there, it looks like. We might be able to make use of some of this at some point. I mean, it's not it's not bad. It's not, it's not great, but it's not bad. Shut this back up. And then, of course, well, we have the newer barn right there, a new storage barn. Uh, it's got an office in the front. That's kind of what they were doing most of their, their uh, dealings out of that building. And it's in decent shape for sure. We'll use that one a ton. It's a nice looking building. Now, like I said, this is all pig equipment is what we're, we're really looking forward to, guys. Oh, we've got tons of pig stuff here. So I've got two pig styes ready to rock. We've got some water right here. Jump on out. we got, yeah, water right there. And then two fairly good sized pig styes. Look at them. Nice size. Uh, both sides, one and the other. We'll see if we can just pack these with pigs. We'll make some bacon. We'll get some bacon going on here out in Nebraska. That's kind of what I'm looking forward to doing. So that's going to be down here. That's kind of the end. The rest is just fields. We've got two two massive fields and then one that's just a smaller size. I don't know the acreage size. I'll have to double check all that stuff. We'll get to that next time. Anyways, that's really uh, for the most part. You know, we'll take the back road here. Let's sneak around the back side of the, of the shop here and then scoot around. Yeah, look at that. You can just see for miles and miles and miles. Uh, up the back there, I think that's another a larger cow operation. And uh, that's about it. There's not much else far out there. I don't know what that is out there. I'll have to go take a look. Oh, I wonder how deep this is. What do you guys think? Oh, man. Let's, get, let's go in here. Let's drive it. Mm, let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Looks good. Go. Let's get those tires up. Oh, she's not too deep. I thought it was going to be deeper than this. It looks like from when you're driving into it, it looks like it was going to be a bit deeper. And pull on out. Out we go. Come on. Up, 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 up. Nice. Cool. Well, that looks great, guys. I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty stoked about this. We've got a lot of outbuildings out here for storage. And then we've got a pretty good operation ready to go. So I think we've got everything we need. If there's something you guys think we're missing, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from you down there. Cool. All right. Let's uh, take this back over. We'll park this in. And I think we're going to be done for the day. We've got some work to do. We've got to get some equipment. But that's going to have to wait for the time being. We're good, but uh, I'm pretty happy with where we're at so far. Anyways, guys, that's really going to do it for us today. We've got everything kind of set up. Uh, I'm going to pull off this tractor, get this toolbox brought over to the main shop there. We'll drop that in there. I mean, look at this truck. Look how dirty she is. <laughs> I think this is going to be a common problem for us out here. We'll jump into the 6 here and uh, 6 Series. Get this thing fired up. Move it off the truck. Get it into the, into the shop. But you know what? it already needs to be cleaned. <laughs> Never ends. Anyways, we're going to be here on Nebraska now, guys. This is great. Um, excited for a new farm. Always excited to build out a new farm and see where that takes us. Got a lot of farmers that are going to be hanging out with us, checking things out. So don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you guys next time. From Nebraska, this is Clutch. Over and out.